mind. Let's join my colleague Vicky Young, who's in the so-called spin room with some of those people now. That's right, Hugh, and it is beginning to fill up here tonight. Of course, a real chance for the smaller parties to get their message across direct to voters and, of course, have a bit of an argument amongst themselves too. And as you say, some of the representatives of those leaders who will be on the platform are here already and they join me now. I'm joined by Darren Johnson from the Green Party, Paul Nuttall from UKIP and Rina Piora from Plaid Cymru. First of all, what is the challenge for you tonight to get in on this debate? Well, it's really another great opportunity to uh, get more of the green messages across. Obviously, since the last debate, we've launched our manifesto. Natalie launched that on Tuesday along with Caroline Lucas. So our, our pledges around the NHS, around ending austerity, the details there, the climate change package that we talked about on, on Tuesday. So these sort of policies will be coming across. But I think also Natalie will be flagging up the great record that Caroline Lucas has had as our Green MP in Parliament and how much more we could achieve with a strong group of Green MPs this time around. So I think that message will come across from Nestle tonight. OK, and Paul Nuttall for UKIP. What's the challenge for Nigel Farage? We know he likes to come along to these things and cause a bit of trouble, yeah. stir up a bit of a, maybe a protest sometimes. What's his approach this evening? I think he's just got to be himself again. Uh, you know, what we want to get out tonight are positive messages. We want to say to people, look, if you want to control your own borders, uh, if you want to see three billion uh, a year put into the NHS, if you want uh, to see uh, hardworking people rewarded in terms of taking everyone out of minimum wage, uh, out of taxation altogether, we've got to get these messages out there tonight. And I think Nigel Farage will go on and win that debate. And I expect to see us go up in the polls as a result. OK, and for Plaid Cymru, what is the challenge for you? I mean, last time we saw Leanne were talking very much about the Welsh agenda, obviously. Um, is she going to broaden that out, do you think? We're always putting our message for Wales in a UK context because, for example, our message on the need to end austerity is as relevant to any part of England or Scotland as it is to Wales. The response to Leanne Woods was remarkable after the last leaders' debate. It's, it's an, a, a vitally important opportunity, not just for Plaid Cymru, but for the electorate of Wales to make sure that the Welsh election, the election for three million people living in Wales, is covered on the main general election stage. So it's going to be more of the same from uh, Leanne Woods, saying that there is an alternative, the stale old uh, two-party political system is gone. Let's look for something else and that appetite is clear for everybody to see and the challenge tonight will be for Ed Miliband and Labour to say yes we will uh, work with you where we can in order to build a progressive alliance to keep the Tories out of government. But will you be ganging up on Ed Miliband? It's not a matter of ganging up, it's a matter of putting a who's going to be on that tonight who's going to be speaking for the people of Wales but as I say putting it in the UK context because a lot of these issues relevant to people in Scunthorpe as they are to people in Swansea. I suppose, I mean, Nigel Farage will be the only person talking from the right of the political spectrum, won't he? Well, I think that is a, a benefit because we can put the alternative argument. And, you know, isn't it interesting that Cameron and Clegg haven't turned up here tonight? You know, if, if they want to be uh, the, the real be leaders... fair to the Liberal Democrats, they wanted to come and they weren't invited. Okay. Yeah, but Mr Cameron, OK, for example, you know, he hasn't bothered to turn up tonight. He's tried to wriggle like a worm out of these debates. And actually, he's proven himself, himself so yellow, he should be a Liberal Democrat. <laughs> you know, the, the, the bottom line is he should be here tonight. He should be on the platform. He should be defending the government's record. But I'll tell you what, us in UKIP, we're buoyant, we're confident, we think it's going to be a good night for Nigel Farage. And, and what about the Greens? I mean, the anti-austerity message is something you want to get across. Is that what you're going to try and get to Ed Miliband about? That will be a real clear challenge from, uh, from Natalie to business as usual politics and why getting uh, more Green MPs elected can be a real part of providing that alternative vision and actually calling on people to vote for what they believe in. People have been bullied and cajoled so much into tactical voting it hasn't delivered change in the past and we really need to be encouraging people to vote for what we be, what, vote for what they believe in that's what Natalie will be saying tonight okay thank you very much well the Liberal Democrats of course won't be here tonight they have been a party of government for the last five years although they said they would have